Most people in America are quite familiar with the fact that we have often been called the melting pot. The truth is I don't see that anymore and I haven't seen that for a good 20 to 30 years. My opinion has always been that we are more of a smorgasbord where people pick and choose what they want and what they like and they take it into their soul. What I've also seen of late is a lot of ethnocentricity coming back to America and I think that's very ungreat. And while I may not be the best rhymer and I may not have give you the best timer, but I have to tell you, what we do in America is still great. We are still the, one of the greatest countries in the world, but we are also lazy with regard to our study of the rest of the world. We are ineffective in understanding England. We are ineffectual for handling China. And we are definitely stupid about what to do with Korea. Japan, on the other hand, is one of our best allies. They are certainly someone we should regard and openly most of their students are far more intelligent than ours but they are less mature than ours so it's a good balance for us to learn from them anything we can that's scientific it's also a good help to them for us to help to get rid of their jellyfish population and help them with the whaling conditions I don't think they'll ever get rid of whaling because they really do utilize that but openly we could help them to perhaps process things differently think about it a little bit more cleanly and openly make sure that there's still whales for us. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about what we know but there's always so much more that we don't know that we have to continue to study, we can have to continue to watch film, we have to continue to look at documentaries, we have to continue to seek out really good quality studies and we have to continue to regard all human life on the earth.